I just stepped on my pretzels. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey everyone, it's Casey here, and today I am doing my 28 week pregnancy update. I'm wearing a dress today, so I'm not really gonna show you guys like my bare belly, but I'll just show you it in my dress. Okay guys, I know it's not the same thing, but you get the idea. She is growing a lot. There's the bump. Okay, so I actually had um, an appointment this morning before I came to work. Um, I mentioned it in my last video, my last update anyways, and I've definitely mentioned it in my vlogs and stuff if you guys have been watching, that we were gonna have an ultrasound today. And I also had to do my glucose test, my gestational diabetes test. So I had to drink this glucola drink. Um, and they say that you have to drink it within five minutes. I drank it in one. I felt like that was, I don't maybe that's not even, I don't know, I'm just being dorky, but, um, <clears throat> and it really wasn't terribly bad. It tastes like Kool-Aid kind of, or like just a really sugary drink. Mine was orange. I don't know if they all are orange. Um, it kind of started to like burn my throat a little bit afterwards. Like I almost started to get heartburn because it was like so sugary, but it really was not bad. Um, and then they drew my blood for gestational diabetes and they also said they're gonna test for, um, my, test my iron levels, which I didn't know they were gonna do, so that is good. So, okay, the whole reason we were getting another ultrasound, if you guys remember, is because at, my, at our anatomy scan, she was just kind of like tucked in there, really nice and comfy, and was like not showing us her profile, not showing us her face. Like we kind of saw the front, of, the front of her face and that was it. So uh, my doctor was like, well, we'll get you another ultrasound at 28 weeks. Well, guess what, you guys? She was still being stubborn and not showing us her little face. Um, <laughs> it's actually really funny. Everybody's like calling her this like little stubborn child. They're like, you the little turkey. She's not going to show us her face. So we still didn't even get to see her. I mean, we kind of saw like a better frontal view and I'll show you guys the picture that we got. Um, it's going to be hard to visualize if you guys have never gotten an ultrasound yourselves, but... So that on the end is like her super chubby little cheek and then her eye socket there and like kind of her nose. So can you guys see that? I hope you can. I, it makes sense to me, but if you've never gotten an ultrasound, you might not be able to read it very well. But I was super excited to see her chubby little cheeks. Oh my gosh. I just oh, I can't wait to squeeze them and kiss him. But everything else was great. The tech said that the measurements are all looking really great. Um, she's... 2.8 pounds and which is like the 50th percentile i was amazed that they can tell how much she weighs but based on all the measurements they do they're able to tell she said she just looks beautiful has like a te textbook measurements and things like that so i was really happy to hear that um and so i don't know if we're ever gonna get to see her face i don't know until she comes out which is fine maybe it'll just be like a little surprise i told drew and my mom that um whether or not she is actually like a stubborn child that we're gonna have to tease her about this for the rest of her life because now twice she is just, she's just comfy in there. Also, she's already head down. <laughs> I'm 28 weeks. I know that usually doesn't happen until later. Um, and my nurse was like, hopefully she stays that way because you know, sometimes they'll move around. Um, but my sister said that her, all three of her babies were um, head down at like 16 weeks and didn't move. So I'm really hoping that we'll be good there. Um, otherwise everything else was great at the appointment. So nothing, nothing new there. Now let's talk about the pregnancy here. According to my Ovia app, she is the size of a coconut. And for the fun and games one, she is the size of a rollerblade, which is kind of hilarious and cool. So at 28 weeks, um, she's controlling her own body temperature. According to this, it says that she's about 16 inches tall and 2.5 pounds, so she's a little bit more than that weight-wise. We, we weren't able to, they're not able to estimate really um, how long she is necessarily. But her adrenal glands are now secreting androgen or estrogen, um, which signal your body to begin lactation. Her wrinkles are starting to disappear as she packs on an increasing amount of fat, which will aid in regulating her body temperature. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I guess you guys, I'm finally in my third trimester officially. So that's exciting. Now let's talk about some symptoms because I have more. <laughs> I've had a little bit of cramping, but I, I think it's almost more like round ligament pain. And I talked to my doctor about it and she said, um, you know, that's really common. Um, she said, as long as it's not like big waves 
of cramping where you almost feel like you're contracting and it's really, really intense and then it comes down and then it's really intense a few minutes later and it comes down. That as long as it's just every once in a while, it's normal and nothing to worry about. Um, and it's usually when I'm like sitting and I have to reach down for something that I'll kind of feel like just tightness. But um, I've also been having some more back and tailbone pain. Like yesterday was the first day that I had back pain almost all day. Um, I know it's not sciatica, or at least I'm assuming it's not because it's not radiating down my legs and into my feet and my butt and everything like that. So um, it's just, you know, I'm carrying a lot of extra weight and, you know, I th it's just part of pregnancy, I think. Um, Monday morning, so today's Friday, and on Monday morning, I woke up, I didn't even have to sit up, and I woke up and immediately felt almost debilitatingly dizzy. It was so strange. Um, I've had dizzy spells in the past, not during pregnancy, um, and it wasn't like this. This was like n hardly bearable. Um, I did finally get up and I was like, I don't know, it just, it was hard to explain. Um, and it took like three hours to wear off. So that was kind of annoying. <laughs> and you know, it just in general, I know dizziness and like lightheadedness is, is a sign of pregnancy because you just have, you don't have as much blood flowing to your brain and up here you've got, it's all in your placenta and everything. So it makes sense that you would feel dizziness here and there. Um, but I was thinking maybe just from being asleep all night and I might've been sleeping on my back, even though I'm trying to sleep on my side, that, um, that could have been what it was from. And, um, I haven't had anything like that since then, knock on wood. Um, cause I hate that dizzy feeling. I didn't get nauseous or anything. I didn't want to throw up. It was just really dizzy. Um, and I talked to my doctor about that also and she seemed like the least concerned about that. She said dizziness is very common, um, especially after like laying down all night. And she said, you'll notice it usually if you like change positions, like from sitting to standing or, you know, things like that. So otherwise you guys, I'm, I'm feeling really good. I mean, I'm starting to just feel really pregnant and, um, just getting really anxious for her to be here. I cannot believe 12 weeks until my due date. I, I, it's crazy to me. Like we're going to meet her in 12 weeks, maybe give or take a few days here and there. Uh, I just, I'm like so over the moon excited to meet her and to see what her little personality is like and to see whose features she has and everything like that. So at this point I'm going to be having appointments every two weeks now. Um, just to check and make sure everything is, is going well. So I guess that's all for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.